hello guys in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can actually turn the log of wood in your farm into wood ash the cordon trees in your farm we're going to show you how you can turn them into very essential material for your bananas stay tuned we're going to bring you the process from burning the wood and then automatically turning them into wood ash hello guys today we're going to share how you can actually prepare your wood ash by actually burning your woods those plants you cut down from your farm those trees you cut down don't allow them of course some people might want to use them for firewood but in this case it is very essential for your banana plants so you're going to do what collect them which is what we've done or what we are doing at the moment here we are collecting the woods and guess what surprisingly our wood ash is ready i told you guys it's going to take hours for them to be ready this is our day two we started yesterday and then this is where we are they've all burnt all those heap of woods they've all burnt ashes so what we're going to do we're going to collect those ashes and then throw them in the bag after which we're going to spray or heap them around the banana plants they are still a little bit hot inside So guys, this is the day two. Like I said, the charcoals are very hot and then we cannot apply them today. So we're going to wait for tomorrow to see whether they're going to actually cool before we can actually apply them. If you apply them as they are hot at the moment, they're going to burn the roots of your bananas and they're not going to do what they are ought to do. So we're going to wait until they cool down before we can apply them. Hello my people, of course, this is our day three. We're talking about how you can actually utilize wood ash to boost your banana during their fruiting stage, during their fruiting time. This is how our banana look after one week. The flower is popping and then we can't wait to see what it looks like after week two. This is just week one and this is how it looks. So what will happen is that we're going to prepare our wood ash and we're going to spray them around the banana plants. Not just the one that is fruiting, we're equally going to apply the wood ash in other ones that are ready to start fruiting and the last time i talked about how and why we utilize wood ash to boost their yield wood ash contains potassium which is very essential for the production so the wood ash will actually make the banana fruit yield massively they're going to become bigger you know some of those bananas that you look at and they become fleshy and big so that's how they're going to look so the wood ash the potassium in the wood ash will actually help them to grow bigger and faster so that of course you will like when they look very big wood ash is very important when we talk about the mpk content in your wood ash we're talking about zero is to one is to three in this case your nitrogen is zero percent then the, the phosphorus is about one uh, percent and then the potassium about three percent so it contains a high level of potassium which is going to help in the yielding of your bananas the potassium will make your banana grow very well and yield massively that's the work of the potassium is very essential to the growth of your bananas we're going to pack the wood ash like yesterday i told you guys about how hot they were of course now they are very cold so we're going to go ahead and then spray and apply them at the base of the banana plant.
Hello guys, this is cow dung. Yesterday we applied a uh, wood ash. Today we are going to apply manure. This is cow dung manure, inorganic fertilizer. So it's very essential at this point that because you can see the fruiting has started and then we need to apply manure to help boost the production of the fruit. We're going to apply round the banana don't apply directly to the stem just apply meticulously by the edge of the roots or stem rather <laughs> 